Jason Payne from Cool Banker, Dan Hopper Realtors. Well, today I'm at the Lantana Oaks community in the northwest part of San Antonio, kind of off Braun Road in the 1604 area. Really convenient to well, about 10 minutes from uh, the Lock and Terror shopping area, and also about another 10 minutes if you go, went the other way near Lackland. Anyways, the house behind me is built by Pulte Homes, and it was built in 2017, so it's a fairly new home. Let's go check it out. All right, this is a relatively nice community. I really do like it. Uh, in this part of San Antonio, it does get kind of congested on traffic. However, they are working on Highway 1604 to broaden it to where you don't get as congested driving from this area off of 1604 to I-10. Anyways, the school district is north North, uh, north side ISD, elementary is Helotus Elementary, middle school is Folks, and the high school is O'Connor High School. Good schools. I do like the fact that this is brick all the way on the front. Let me confirm that it's on the side as well. Yep, brick all the way down the side. This has uh, St. Augustine grass in it, which looks like it's been kept up quite well. I do like St. Augustine because it's, it's a little thicker and uh, works out really nice. All right, let's head on inside and check out this house. All right, this house does have 1977 square feet, or better words, 1,977 square feet. Right when you come in, I am rather impressed with how wide this entry doorway is. They have the tile on it, looks quite nice. Coming around, we do have the bathroom that's kind of open to the public. Uh, the last video I did, I haven't made it public yet, but my client didn't win the bid. They have higher countertops. But, uh, yep, and we got a bedroom right up front. Little taller ceilings, you can always put a fan up there. And just your regular closet. This house does look to be pretty good shape. I haven't sound, found anything odd about it. All right, you do have your flex space, which can be used as another TV room an office, whatever you want to use it for. Loaf as an office, I did wish there was a ethernet port in here, but I do not see that. All right, we do have another, well, let's go check out the garage first. Nice little mud room set up. I like the, the listing agent, I can represent buyers wanted to highlight that this is a mud room and I always love it when realtors do those little things to showcase what the rooms are for. This is a two car garage. Water heater looks like it's in pretty good shape. We have attic access here. This is not plumb for water softener and for those of you watching other parts of the country, we do have hard water here uh, where we get our water from the ground. So that means you might have some mineral deposits in your water. I lived in my house for 10 years. I do not have a water softener. It's okay, but it does add additional wear and tear on your appliances. And those deposits fill up in your water heater. This bedroom, they did not have the carpet in it, so you might hear a little echo. Check out the closet. Yep, still same decent regular closet. And your laundry room. I like the fact they have a sink in the laundry room. And there's another thing I like about this laundry room that I'm gonna show you in a little bit. All right, coming into the main area. Oh, uh, this house is currently, as of, what are we at? Around May 20 something, listed at 349.9, so essentially for 350K. Do like the kitchen. They uh, have the double stacked ovens. This is a gas community. They got the ornamental granite, which is a level two granite. 
kind of a typical corner uh, pantry. This is a gas community, so you have your full burner Whirlpool gas cooktop, microwave up top, and they do have, well, I love the granite composite sinks. I kind of wish it wasn't a 50-50 sink, but these are nice because they're not going to scrape up like stainless steel. It's a little wet because I was checking this out. They do have a filtered water system down below, so most refrigerators are going to have a water filtration system built on it so you can get your filtered water from there or here. This is one of those telltale signs. You can see a little bit of mineral deposits on here. Uh, kind of tells you that uh, there's no water softener here. It's not the end of the world. Uh, you can bring up, if you really want one, you can bring a plumber in to put a water softener loop in. Uh, it might be like a thousand dollars just to put the water softener loop. There's the other light. This is the space for, there is no formal kitchen, so this would be the space for your kitchen table, breakfast nook, whatever you want. And this would be your main living space. So they got the, everything set up for the TV. Your couch be right here. Does have a nice fireplace with a brick all the way up. I kind of like having it in the corner giving you more space for your TV entertainment center. I uh, like the fact that they extended the area around the kitchen, giving you a bigger loop so you could put uh, tables underneath here. Right, let's go check out the back porch area. These are nice because you can close the blinds just by doing that. One thing I got to point out as I came out of here, you do hear the neighbor's air conditioning unit, which is right there. <laughs> so that's a negative, but it's not the end of the world. Oh, I just noticed they are, does have a gas plumbing out of here. So if you wanted to have a grill, you can hook that right up. No swapping out propane tanks. But you also have your air conditioning unit if you chose to buy this house right there as well. And if you're trying to extend your deck out, it's kind of frustrating where they have it right there. You're not going to be able to make it the whole house. But you could go out this way a little bit and build kind of a little fence around your air conditioning unit to try to mitigate the noise. That's Pulte tends to do that. They'll put the air conditioner sometimes right where your patio's at. So just wanted to point that out. Checking out the rest of the lawn. My client that's uh, interested in this house, that's why I'm doing it, uh, wants me to do a thorough walk around of the backyard. The listing agent, they do have sprinkler systems back here. You can see it right there. They just hardscaped this yard in just so they wouldn't have to worry about mowing it. But it's easy enough to get the rocks dug up until they had some crushed granite, but uh, water drainage that came from the front yard. You can tell it's kind of washed this whole stuff out. They kind of washed a lot of their crushed granite out with it. But if you're trying to do something, you can get all these rocks dug out, resod it, even do something different with this. And showing you what the other side of the house. There's your water spigot over on that side. It is nice that you have four-sided brick on this house. I actually like the color of the brick too, it's kind of nice. You do have houses back behind you, but they're not right, right behind you. And there's enough trees in this green space that you definitely feel a little more isolated. You can see the neighbors got a nice deck on their place. And 
looks like these neighbors got a nice little pergola set up too. So, uh, and some nice trees out here. So we, they probably have some pretty uh, sociable neighbors. Don't be afraid to get to know them if you chose this house. Okay, finally that air conditioner stopped. All right, back inside. All right, you do have a little mini office area for whatever you want to use it for. They got the carry that same ornamental granite into here. So yeah, you could put your computer set up. They got an ethernet port there and making this little home office. But if you have little kids, they're still gonna be bothering you. All right, into the owner's suite. Nice knockout bay windows, giving you more light. And then into the bathroom. I said, uh, this is for my client, the last video I did. I'll make it public soon. They had the really lower counters because uh, it was built in 1997. These are up higher, so uh, people whose body have been beat up a little bit, you don't have to bend over so much. But I really do like this shower. Check this out. You got the inset shower, you got your step, and my favorite part, the rain shower up above. You got a little switch there. You could probably switch in between how you want the water. Little garden tub. Not the deepest of garden tubs, but plenty of place if you want to have your glass of wine and your kind of a frosted over window. Water closet with plenty of space on the side. I definitely like having a little more space. I don't like feeling crowded. Master bedroom closet. Some decent space in here. But this is that feature that I wanted to point out. You have access to your laundry room right from your closet. If you watch my videos, you know I like that little sneaky need to be able to come in here and do your laundry. But let me check, make sure. Nope, no way to lock it. Not good but it's an easy fix to be able to put a new doorknob in it. Because if I've got kids coming in here, I don't want them no lock here either. So. Yep, no locks on any of those doors. And it's gonna be your linen closet. like the pendant lighting. All right, well, I hope my clients enjoy the video tour of this house and uh, definitely let me know if you wanna put an offer in on it. I like it, it's very clean. Uh, I don't see any real issues with it yet, but I always recommend getting a third party inspector and if you're watching me on the rest of the internet and if you're looking for a real estate agent that does these things i will leave a link in my in the comments box if you want to schedule some time with me you can schedule a zoom meeting or a phone call and i'll be happy to help or if i'm too swamped because that does happen sometimes i've got some amazing realtors i can help put you in contact with all right that's gonna do it for now i'll talk to you soon oh that's it as always hit that like and subscribe button all right take care now bye